Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Reports came out yesterday that, well, I guess the executive from um, Zone came out and said that they're not going to pay basically these, you know, uh, inflated purses anymore to, uh, you know, obtain certain fights because basically they had to pay some kind of luxury tax or whatever you call it or premium, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But it appears that Zone has called the halt to that. At the end of the day, I told you this about the Zone that this was going to be difficult for them to like try to get away with this or pull this off in the States. You know, the Zone got rid of their uh, 30 day uh, trial package, you know, in the States. Now they still have it in other places, but they don't have it like in the States you know, the U.S. of A. So, basically, to me, it appears that the zone probably isn't turning much of a profit as far as their American market go. Because, keep in mind, the zone has never released the streaming numbers of their fights. Basically, you had to crawl and dig and try to see what the uh, streaming numbers were. And most of them for their fights were very low. So, they're not making probably that much money. And keep in mind, they were paying people, you know, big purses to come over to the zone, or they was paying what you would call extreme purses for, you know, their, their fighters. They never really released the actual numbers, but based off the fact that that executive said that those days are over and that they are gonna be doing some real serious number crunching, that makes you wonder, can they get bigger fights there or can they get certain people to come over to the zone now keep in mind they paid Jose Ramirez millions to come over there and fight you know uh, Maurice Hooker and it worked in Jose Ramirez favor because he stopped Maurice Hooker so he has you know he has two belts now but it was funny um, it was funny when I talked to Jose Ramirez like a few months ago when I was in uh, Fresno, he told me, he say, he say, the zone is paying me a lot of money to come over there and fight Hooker. He said and Bob Arum didn't stand in the way. So, you know, dang. Well, now it makes you wonder, like I said, how are you going to get those big fights? The Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder and, and, you know, possibly the Canelo Chalo and or you know, but then again, Canelo won't even get in the ring with Demetrius Andrade. So it's just a lot of you know questions that you got to ask on what is the future of the zone. You know, keep in mind Eddie Hearn was talking about he had a billion dollars to play with. Well. It seems like a lot of that has been spent in, and basically, it hasn't <laughs> worked out for the zone as of as of yet. So, like I said, if you a fighter that's like on the outside looking in at the zone and they're trying to get you to sign with them, you're gonna be like, okay, well, why should I? If you guys are cutting your budget, didn't say how much they cutting their budget by, but it has to be it has to be a decent amount of money that they cut in their budget by but you know we'll see we'll see if the zone able to attract big big fights and attract what you would call the more popular fighters good day Deontay Wilder didn't sign with the zone once again this your boy Tim Viz I'm out